One of the biggest problems facing type in Photoshop is proper kerning, leading, and tracking. To get the terms right, let's go through them. Kerning is the space between individual letters. Tracking is the overall looseness or tightness of an entire line of type. If you're an avid user, these terms are mislabeled in your title tool. Again, kerning is the space between individual pairs of letters and tracking is the entire line, the looseness or the tightness. Letting is the amount of space between multiple lines of type. This comes from the days of printing, where we physically inserted lines of lead in between the lines on the printing press. Most people commonly say, well, I don't see those problems when I'm in my word processor. Because we blow up the type to a much larger point size than you would use in a word processing application, we also blow up the problems. I often say this is a lot like a zit. From far away, you don't notice bad acne, but when you're up close, it seems a lot bigger. Looking at this line here, you'll notice that there are several things that appear improperly spaced. You'll also see that we don't have enough spacing between the two lines of type. Let's go ahead and fix that first. Currently, my type is set to 72 points. My leading is only set to 31. There's always the auto setting, which takes a best guess. This is the manufacturer's recommended leading for this font. However, you may choose to manually adjust that. For example, maybe with 72 point type, you want to try 65 to get it a little bit closer. Or maybe you want farther apart, 85. It's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and set an 80 point leading. You'll also see that the text here has problems, spacing and gaps. Let's go ahead and take care of those. Easiest way to do this is just place the cursor in between. You can use the left and right arrows to jump through the line. When you're between two characters that need the gap closed, just hold down the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on the Windows system. Now, using the left and right arrow, you can close the gap. If letters are too close, you can spread them apart. And this becomes very fast. In fact, it's very similar if you've ever run a Chiron machine. You just tap through using the arrows to jump through the line, and then you pull together or spread apart any areas where the text doesn't feel spaced correctly. How do you know when it's right? Well, you have to develop an eye for it. What you are trying to accomplish is visual balance with the text on screen. Now at this point, I just need to get the type centered properly on the screen within Safe Title. The first step is I go ahead and select the background, which is a full screen layer, and I link it to the text. When you select the Move tool, you'll notice that the Options bar has centering options. I can now click on Center, and the object becomes centered in the screen. Now, we go ahead and unlink those, and I press Command T for Free Transform. You see my bounding box. I can go ahead and hold down the Option key to scale evenly from the center, and hold down Shift to constrain proportions. I drag that in till I'm happy with it, and my text is properly redrawn. The great thing about vector text is that it will scale and redraw and be perfectly crisp and clean. 